Fentanyl is everywhere, and there's a campaign underway in Camden County, New Jersey, to spread awareness. No one wants that more than Tanya Niederman, who lost her 19-year-old son, JJ. In fact, tomorrow marks one year since his passing, and she's with us now. Also with us is the county's uh, county commissioner director, Louis Capelli, Jr. Um, Tanya, I'm so sorry what happened. It was a year ago tomorrow? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, tell me about JJ. Uh, what was he like? Um, he was he was a typical kid growing up. He loved to be outside. He loved fishing. He played hockey. Um, when he got into his teenage years, he, you know, um, loved hanging out with his friends. You know, doing typical teenage boy stuff. Yeah. Um, he was an everyday kid. It's. I it's see every pictures day here. They come. He has sisters. His two sisters, Grace and Carter, yes. Yeah. Um, where did he go to high school? Uh, Triton. Oh, Triton. Triton High School. And yeah. was that Rowan, right? He was uh, attending Rowan, yes, uh, for hotel restaurant management. So a year ago, tomorrow, how did you find out that he had passed? Um, it was a normal Friday, like today, which is kind of crazy. But um, I got a phone call from his father that... Um, something had happened to him and mm -hmm. my instant gut feeling was, you know, he got in a car accident or, you know, didn't expect that the words that his father was going to tell me that, um, you know, our son was gone and I didn't believe it. I mean, what do you mean he's gone? Where did he go? Yeah. Um, did you know that he was experimenting with cocaine? Uh, I did not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know that kids that age, they Maybe. party and drink. Um, but the extent beyond that, if you would have asked me on February 12th of last year, if my son ever took drugs, I would have looked you dead in your eye and said no, because he didn't appear to ever give signs to us that he had ever done anything. Yeah. So there was um, fentanyl in it. Uh, what he took was basically all fentanyl. Oh, my God. Because it only takes a little bit to do harm, as I understand. You told uh, four grains of sand, I believe, is four, a lethal dose. Oh my God, four grains yes. of sand. So, I was told that he had so much in his body it could have killed thirty people. Is that true? Thirty people, yes. Yeah. All right, Louis. I mean, think about that. My God, I know. He, so, so he was murdered, don't you think? He was murdered. Um, in my eyes, he was murdered. I mean, you know, I've come to grips with the fact that my son chose to take cocaine, but he didn't choose to die. No. Um, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't a choice that he made that night. Um, do you know and, who you sold know, it to him? Um, the police, I believe, do. Um, we're still a year out and we don't have all the answers, but, you know, that's part of what, you know, we're trying to figure out yeah. is how we can stop this from happening to somebody else. I mean, Thank it's, God, it's Tanya, devastated our family. It. I mean, because I, I need to get up to speed, too, on what's going on. Lewis, what exact, isn't fentanyl um, a cancer drug? It's a legal drug, isn't it? It is a legal drug used a lot uh, for treatment in cancer patients. Unfortunately, it's finding its way into everything from marijuana to cocaine and into heroin. And people don't realize that the fentanyl is in the drugs that they're using. And as Tanya said, just, just a small dose can kill you. Yeah. So why... Let's say this is here's a scenario that there's the fentanyl compared to a penny. My God. Yep. Let's say the cocaine comes in where from wherever South America or wherever in a, in a pure state. Who's cutting it, the fentanyl into it? Are these the drug dealers, local drug dealers? And why do they use it? The drug dealers are the ones cutting it uh, into the cocaine and they're using it, uh, number one, because it's cheap. And number two, for those who really have a substance abuse disorder, um, and use drugs every day, it gives them a greater high. The danger is if you're a recreational drug user or experimenting with drugs, your body's not accustomed to having any fentanyl in it. And just a small dose, uh, like the ones shown against that penny, uh, can kill you. And that's why we, uh, in Camden County, have started this awareness campaign, an education campaign, to let the public know, if you're using drugs recreationally, stop, go get help, because just a small dose can kill you, um, as Tanya, unfortunately, and tragically yeah. learned last year. Um, you would you would have no idea it's in there, would you, Lewis? You, you would have no idea, absolutely no idea that it's in there. 
So let me get that. So why why are they putting it in there? Because it's cheap. I got that. Is that so that their supply of cocaine will last longer? Absolutely. The supply of cocaine will last longer. Um, and for those who are using every day, your body may become more accustomed to it. And a little bit more fentanyl gives them a greater high. And when you're, you know, suffering so, from a substance abuse disorder, sometimes you want that greater so high. So there are some people that are really struggling with addiction, want some fentanyl in it. That is correct. That is correct. But at least they would know that it was in there. You know, JJ and, and had no idea. Right. And this is happening more and more and more. And yeah. uh, it's important that we raise awareness. And thank you for covering this. Story. Oh, yeah. Thank you for doing this. And, and Tanya, thank you. I know it's hard to do this, to talk about JJ, but you're, you're really doing a service for all of us. What, what is your message, uh, Tanya? Um, the message is that, you know, we were like everyone else and thought it couldn't happen to us, to our family, and it did. And JJ is an example of a regular kid who made a choice and had no idea that that choice was going to be the last one that he ever made. And if we can save other kids, inform parents, teachers, that this is out there and it's lurking and you just don't know, and perhaps save lives in the process, I mean, I feel like you know, JJ left a legacy and we have to carry it on for him. Yeah. Um, well, you certainly are. You're a great mom. I know tomorrow's going to be tough. Very thank you tough. both. We'll be right thank back. Thank you.